Dear friends, this is Pastor Taylor here coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church. And today we consider the first part of the fifth petition. And that first part is forgive us our sins. It's kind of too bad we even have to pray that. That God would forgive us our sins. Because if we consider the first four petitions of the Lord's Prayer, our God has pretty much removed any reason we have to sin in the first place. I mean, what excuse do we have to sin when we know that our, our prayers are answered? The fact that our God gives us our daily bread, thus giving us the strength to keep his name holy. We have no fear of tomorrow, no excuse to be greedy or selfish, no reason in the world to lack contentment because we're never going to be left alone. Our God has brought us into his kingdom and it's all through his grace. We have no reason to struggle against the people in our life, those, those family members and friends, acquaintances that our God has given us. And on top of all of that, we know that our God keeps us in his kingdom through his powerful word and sacraments. We are his dear children. What could ever move us to get upset with our God, to become indifferent with his word, or unwilling to serve those around us? And yet we know for all of the reasons we have, not to sin, there's one big reason why we still do. It's because each one of us has a corrupt, sinful nature. That while it has no excuse not to sin, it can't help it. It sins. It sins and that's why we pray that our God would forgive us our sins. In fact, it's a great relief that among the many petitions of the prayer that our Savior taught us, this would be one of them. He knows who we are. He invites us to pray and ask him to forgive us. The only reason why he can make good on that is because of what he's done for us. And in fact, by praying this prayer, we are reminded where and how our sins are forgiven, only in the precious blood of Jesus. And so it is, we could pray this prayer a thousand times a day, continually, actually. And every time we do, every time we do, we fall on our knees asking our Savior Jesus to forgive us our sins. And he says, we are forgiven. And then he shows us where we are, were forgiven in the, in the cross and in the empty tomb points to himself and then he lifts us up fully and freely forgiven and we're filled with joy to go out and do the things that he has us to do for we thank God that when we pray this petition the first part of it at least forgive us our sins that he has and that he does amen <music>